Okay, last time we talked about the theory of linearizations and differentials. Now we're going to use the theory to actually solve some problems. So the first one is we're going to try to compute the square root of 4.036 without a calculator. So the first thing to identify is what function are we talking about? What we're really talking about is the function f of x is equal to the square root of x. In other words, x to the 1 half. And we're going to want to take derivatives, so we better figure out what the derivative of that is. And that's 1, one half x to the minus 1 half. In other words, 1 over 2 root x. The next thing is we want to understand where are we doing things. 4.036 is kind of a funny number, but there's a really nice number that's nearby, which is 4. So we know that f of 4 is the square root of 4, and that's 2. And f prime of 4 is 1 over twice the square root of 4, so that's 1 over 4. So if we drew a picture of what was going on, we would say that here we have our square root function, and the square root of 4 is 2. And at 2, we're going with a slope of 1 quarter, which is f prime of 4. So our approximation says we want to understand what's happening at uh, x equals 4.036. And our approximation says that f of x is approximately f of 4, that's f of a, plus f prime of 4 times x minus 4. So that's f prime of a times x minus a. And now we just plug in. f of 4 is 2. f prime of 4 is a quarter x minus 4 is 0 0.036, so that's 2 plus 0 0.009, which is 2.009. So I claim that the square root of 4.036 is approximately 2.009. Now if you pull out a calculator and, and compute the square root of 4.036, what you'll get is 2.00898. I think that's pretty close to 2.009. Good enough for us. Now, if we go back, the equation of this line is y equals l of x, which is 2 plus 1 quarter x minus 2. So you could think of it as we'll plug in x equals 0 .0, 4.036 x minus 4, sorry. We'll plug in x equals 4.036 into this thing and what we got is that if you had 4.036 then what we would get here is 2.009 when the real answer is 2.00898, but they're really very, very, very close. If we were to describe the whole thing in terms of differentials, we would say that delta y was the square root of 4.036 minus the square root of 4, and this was approximately dy, which was f prime of 4 dx which is 1 quarter of 0 0.036, which is 0 0.09. So in terms of differentials, we would say that the change in y is approximately, the change in y is the difference between the real value and where you started. And that's approximately the, the difference between the line and where you started. The rise in the line is dy, and that's 0.09. Okay, let's do another example. This time, we want to compute e to the 0.03. So in this case, we say f of x is e to the x, f prime of x is e to the x, and 0.03 is very close to 0. So our linearization 
is f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x minus 0, which is 1 plus 1 times x minus 0. So L of 0 0.03 is 1.03. That's our approximation for e to the 0.03. In fact, e to the 0.03 is approximately 1.03045. Again, it's not exact. It's pretty darn close. In terms of pictures, we have our exponential function. And here we have our linear... Our, our tangent line, and our tangent line is given by the linearization. We've got this point 0 0.03, and what we care about is the value on the tangent line and the value that it really has. The real change in y is e to the point 0.03 minus 1. That's what we want to figure out. dy is 1 times dx which is 0.03. So the approximation says that the change in the value of our function is approximately 0.03. If we're going up at a rate 1, then we go when we go across by 0.03, we go up by 0.03. We get a very good approximation to, to e to the 0.03.